So, if you're wanting to transform, you're going to have to find some motivation to get through the hard bits. For example, it's easy to say, I want to lose some belly fat, but it's actually much harder to put into practice what you need to do to lose that body fat. So I like to call this part of motivation your why. This is the reason you do the things you do on a daily basis. It's the reason you're the person you are today. And most importantly, it's the reason you get to your goals or not get to your goals. And it's basically usually to do with your why. If it's a strong why, you're going to get to your goals. If it's a weak why, you keep falling off the bandwagon and you don't get to that goal. So whether that be something as simple as cleaning your house, you just keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And then someone significant says they're going to come around, maybe somebody you're going to hook up with. And guess what? Your house is super clean and spotless. Now, if we take the energy from that goal or something you see, you got to really, really easily, you kind of realize it had a strong why or a strong reason behind it. So let's do that for our transformation goal. Losing some belly fat isn't ever going to get you to your goal. However many times you say it, or however many times you start with, I want to lose some belly fat, you'll never get to that goal. You've got to go deeper. We've got to go stronger on this reason, on this why you're doing it in the first place. So you're going to need a piece of paper for this one. Write a cross in the middle of it, green pen, red pen, if you've got it. So in the top left corner, as many as you can muster, you're going to write down as many short term whys as you can think of that's going to change you in the immediate future, three to six months. So for example, I want to lose some belly fat. It's just one of them. I want to lose weight so I can look better. Um, I want to live longer and healthier for my family. I want to look better on holiday. I want to be lighter for my sport. All these things, get them in there, fill that box up with as many reasons why in a positive way. Bottom left. These are the ones that are going to help you stick to it in the long term. These are the ones that are really going to dig deep and they're going to get you there. These are your long term goals. So I want to be able to run around with my children or grandchildren in the future. I want to be stronger so I can look after myself when I'm older. I don't want to get sick from being unhealthy in the future. This type of thing. So you're thinking positive and you're thinking long term. Next. You're going to go on the other side and you're going to go in red pen if you've got it. And we're looking at negative goals now. So the short term negative goals and the long term negative goals, they're similar to your positive goals, but they're on the flip side. So, for example, I hate my belly fat and I want to get rid of it. I don't like myself in the mirror and I want to change that. Going a bit long term, I'm facing early death because I'm not so healthy. And then going really, really deep for when you're older. I don't want to be admitted to an old people's home because I can't stand up properly because I'm too overweight or too unhealthy. Now, if you feel comfortable sharing these goals with me, shoot me a message, send them over. Or if you're on the six week challenge or you're in our community group, go over there, post them. Everyone will get involved and give you some positivity around your goals. And it'll be just nice and help you get moving towards that transformation.